Forty years ago, the God of my father Isaac and my grandfather Abraham appeared to me in a dream when I was running from my brother Esau. He promised that he would bless me, that my family would grow to be great, and that he would give my people this land forever. And now look how he has kept his promise. The land is fertile, my wealth has increased, and he has given me 12 sons. And the greatest blessing of all was when he finally gave my beautiful wife, Rachel, rest her soul, a son in her old age. So to celebrate God's goodness, I want to give my son a gift to show everyone that he is the one who will carry on God's blessing to our people in the next generation. Joseph, come. <laughs> you like it. Oh, Father. <sighs> what a beautiful day. <laughs> Look who finally decided to wake up. Ugh, makes me sick. Good morning, brothers. You guys will never believe the dream I just had. We were all out in a field, tying up bundles of grain. Now that is quite a dream. Joseph was working! <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, suddenly, my bundle of grain stood up, and all of your bundles gathered around and bowed down before it. What are you trying to say, Joseph? That you are going to be our king? I know what father thinks about you, but I would never bow to you. Judah, that's enough. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Judah, get away from us, dreamer. Judah? I had another dream last night, and this one was even more strange. I was standing there, and the sun, and the moon, and the eleven stars were all bowing down to me. <laughs> May you be the master over your brothers. And may your mother's sons bow down to you. Hmm. Joseph, your brothers are taking the sheep to pasture at Shechem. I want you to go and check on them and come back and tell me how they are doing. Sure, Father. I'll go. Look, here comes the dreamer. Let's kill him and throw him in this pit. We can just tell father he was attacked by a wild animal. No, we can't kill our own brother. Just throw him in the pit, but don't hurt him. Hey, Issachar. Joseph, it's so good to see you. What a surprise. W where is everyone? Oh, don't worry about them. They just went to take care of a flock in a nearby field. But Joseph, tell me, did you have any more dreams last night? You really want to hear about them? Of course I do. I'm your brother. Now! <laughs> Rip that coat to shreds, please! Should have seen his face. 
He was like, brothers, please. <laughs> Look, traitors. We're not gonna gain anything by killing Joseph. Let's sell him to these guys. We won't have any blood on our hands. And we rid of Joseph. And we can make some money. Twelve. Brothers, please, I beg you, don't do this. I'm your brother. Now he is gone. Oh, my dear sons, Of silver. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Fifteen. I see you. I've got fifteen now. Twenty, 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 twenty. Can I get twenty pieces? Come on, he's a strong one. He's not worth five pieces. What about that other one? Yes, I agree. Potiphar, <laughs> you've got a good eye. I know that look. I do, I do. You want to buy my favorite slave. This one is, uh, straight from the fields of Canaan. I'll take him for 17. Lord Potiphar will take the Hebrew for 17. Done. <laughs> so, to Lord Potiphar. Come with me. Stack the bricks right there by the wall and uh, move the statue. This young man is incredible. His God blesses everything that he does. I'm going to put him in charge of my household. shouldn't be here. Shh. My husband is always so busy. Work, work, work. I need a man who will pay attention to me and show me some love. Come spend some time with me, Joseph. You are my master's wife. I could never do such a thing. It would be a sin against God. Joseph. No. Please. I should go. Please. He's attacking me! Stop right there! to bless me, God, but I'm a slave, and now I'm a slave in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph, and even in prison he blessed him. Joseph became the favorite prisoner of the chief jailer. Get to it. Then there'll be plenty. 
Joseph, that's brilliant. And the jailer put him in charge of all the other prisoners. I just can't rest until I know what it means. What's wrong? Why are you so sad? We both had dreams last night, but there is no one to tell us what our dreams mean. God will help me. Tell me your dreams. I saw a grapevine in front of me. The vine had three branches and it produced clusters of ripe grapes. I was holding Pharaoh's wine cup in my hand, so I took a cluster of grapes and squeezed the juice into the cup. Then I placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Then I woke up. This is what the dream means. The three branches represent three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift you up and restore you to your position as his chief cupbearer. And listen, please. When this happens, will you put in a good word for me with Pharaoh? I shouldn't be here. I didn't do anything wrong. Please, help me get out of here. Of course. And now it's my turn. In my dream, there were three baskets stacked on my head. The top basket was filled with all kinds of pastries for Pharaoh. But the birds came and ate them from the basket on my head. I woke with a start. What does my dream mean? This is what the dream means. The three baskets also represent three days. Pharaoh will lift you up and hang your body on a tree, and birds will come and peck away at your flesh. Guards, bring me the young Hebrew prisoner right away. Have you forgotten me, God? Have you forgotten me? <laughs> 